So yesterday you set up your code pen page ready to do some HTML and CSS kind of stuff. So I'm conscious that some of you uh, did HTML and CSS in Tencom and some of you didn't. So we're going to take it fairly steady. Uh, don't forget you can always go to, let's open a new tab, W3Schools and uh, W3Schools HTML and you can spend a little bit of time just running through all of this lot down here. It's a really good site. It's straightforward and easy to follow. You don't necessarily need to do every little bit on it, but it will help you understand the basics. For instance, there's a heading, there's a paragraph, try it yourself, heading, paragraph, gotcha. All right. So anyway, uh, we are going to put some things into here. What we're going to do is we're going to organize a bunch of images, uh, specifically um, the implications images. So I've uploaded them here because CodePen doesn't do hosting unless you pay them money. So I've hosted them on this website and we're going to just link directly to these images. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to right click on the image and say open image in new tab. That's the direct link to the image. So control C and going back to here, if I just put in an image tag, IMG source where it's stored in speech marks, control V and close that tag. And magically my image appears down here and I can save it and I can go to full page view. Let's have a look. Wow. So I've got a heading and I've got an image. Those are useful things to have. Back to editor view. And uh, maybe I could also put in um, perhaps a link to something else. Actually, no, I think what I will do is I'm just going to resize this image a touch. Um, so this image, I'm going to say ID equals one. It's my first image. We're going to have a bunch more id equals one and over in the css i'm going to say hashtag one which is how we refer to something that's got an id and i'm just going to specify a width width and we'll say 200 pixels just to make it a bunch smaller than it currently is and uh, it should have resized that image it doesn't seem to have did i misspell something that's the most common thing to do uh, maybe it didn't like the the numeric there. I forget sometimes what's allowed and what isn't allowed. Uh, maybe it's, yeah, there you go, 200 pixels. I might check up on that, but I think possibly you're not allowed to start an identifier with a number. I know that's the case in Python, for instance. It might also be the case in um, HTML. Uh, so what I'd like you to do, please, just as preparation for getting this to look a bit good and doing layouts and so on, is get um, a bunch of images. There's actually 13 uh, here, I think, and you should be able to do a bit of copy and paste and then just um, grab each new URL as you find it and drop it into your page. Um, also, while you're there, just to practice, let's just see if we can do some things like change the body, uh, maybe background color, background dashed color. Be very easy to misspell that because they spell it wrong, don't they, being American. So the body, background color, red. And if you wanted to change the color of the font as well, that would be a cool thing to do. All I want to know is that by the end of today, you've been able to do a little bit of HTML, a little bit of CSS, and we are up and running with that. That's enough. And then we can build on that on tomorrow and the next day. And we're going to end up by the end of the week with these uh, implications all nicely laid out in a readable kind of website.